Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, it is mid-April. The sled season is over. Uh, it turned out to be a pretty good season despite some really crazy weather. At the beginning of the season, I did a segment on installing a NOCO lithium battery in my Polaris Matrix chassis sled here. And now that the season's over, I'm going to tell you how that worked out because I'm not 100% sure it was the right choice for me and it might not be the right choice for you. So before I made the switch to the lithium battery, I did a little bit of research and a lot of users had indicated that in the colder weather, the lithium batteries don't work, you know, right away. You kind of have to couple of tries to get the battery to activate uh, in order to get it to start the sled. And that's a combination of the chemistry, the way the lithium battery works, as well as the circuit board that is built into the battery for charging and protection of the cells. And I thought, eh, you know, it didn't sound too bad. Uh, I could probably live with it. In early March, I filmed a little segment to show you exactly uh, what that looks like. I just unloaded it off the truck. It's been in the truck all night. It was minus 10 last night. It's currently minus 5 Celsius. We're going to see how it starts. Now I like to wait until my display actually lights up. So there's the first attempt. Might have kept going if I'd held it, but you can see the display has rebooted. Attempt number two. Display has shut down again, and that time I held it until it quit. Display's lighting up again. So, as you can see, minus 5 and lower for sure. Um, it takes a couple of tries to uh, get the machine started. Not the end of the world, but especially on newer machines like this with a lot of electronics, it's a little annoying and probably not the best for the electronics. What I ended up doing is basically pull starting in the morning and then I could button start the rest of the day it was fine which is kind of like the skidoo um, shot system but I know it's completely different technology so don't rip my head off but basically if you have zero interest in ever pull starting your machine unless it's an emergency then switching to lithium might not be the right answer for you. From what I have read, it seems like they all, regardless of brand or size, have that same issue. Um, they all require a little bit of a wake-up load before they'll uh, really turn over the machine. So, something to keep in mind if uh, you're thinking about making the switch to lithium. Thanks for watching.